Hi guys, if it's Tuesday, it's Down and Dirty Woodscraft, and I owe you a video. Hi guys, okay, today we're going to do as promised. We're going to create the new and improved ridge line. Now, as you guys recall, I created a ridge line in the past that had a preset up ridge line that on one end has a bowling knot. So I can go all the way around the tree and pass it back through itself. And then I had two sliding Prusik knots, which from now on in this video, I'm going to call them Prusks. I know it is a Prusik knot, but I just say Prus, so you understand where we're coming from. And it had a, the Prusk knot had a long section of line and a lot of knots. This was a quick disconnect for use on my tarps. I could bow the line in half, stick it up through the grommet, and then pass over that knot through it and the knot couldn't be pulled back and it quick connected it. Well my friend Dan Lutz, I made him up a ridge line because he had ordered an extra big tarp and he needed an extra long ridge line so I created it for him and I sent him with those quick connects and he didn't understand the quick connect so he took it off and he went with soft shackles. Well after seeing his setup and thinking about it you know that does have certain advantages. So this new ridge line system will have soft shackles incorporated into it and that sliding Proust knot at the end for quick setup and quick takedown. So let's start out with our paracord. We're going to use something bright and easy to find and know that that is what that is. That's a funky color, so it must be a ridge line. Okay. Now how long? Well, we're going to do at least 25, 30 feet because that's the length I want for most of the time for my ridge lines. That gives me plenty of room to go around some big trees. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take this in and we'll burn these loose things later. We're gonna pull it tight. We're gonna take the length of the line. We're gonna come up here and make a pretty good size bowling. We're gonna grab and twist uphill to make a loop. Trip, twist uphill to make the loop. And you're gonna take Rabbit goes out of the hole, around the tree, back in the hole. And then we're going to hold it there, and we're going to pull it up so it cinches up. Now there's my bowling with a loop big enough to pass the completed set through. Now, how long? Need about 30 feet. So we're going to go one full length. That's 5 foot 10, so we're going to call it 5 feet. 10 feet. Fifteen feet. Twenty feet. Twenty-five feet. And finally, thirty feet. So that's where we got for a ridge line. And on the other end, we're going to simply tie off a knot to keep it from coming loose okay now let me put this up on a tree and we'll tear we'll tie the next parts okay you will also need to fabricate one loop that's about I'll say eight inches one loop that's at least 12 inches total length another 12 inch loop about that big and then you're gonna make two soft shackles now all the soft shackle is the same idea as this it's just going to be a loop. I've already made this one up. That loop is going to be about, I'd say, eight inches, eight inches long. And all that is is a piece of cord that you've tied a knot in each end, put them together, tie it, and that's how you make the loop. So it would be the two ends, take it and go over, stick both knots back through the hole just like that and then slide it up so you get all of that slack out and you've got a loop Now this loop has got to be where it can come over the top just like that to cinch okay once you get it done and you got it up there where you want trim off any of this stuff that's sticking out that's a little too fuzzy like that 
and then burn the ends just like this and also burn the knot a little bit. Now you don't want to melt the knot but you just want to heat it up real good so that it will not back out okay but it makes a sort of a solid ball as opposed to a hunk of rope just like that so burn all the ends until they're all nice and even okay now that I've got them my components ready now I'm going to attach it to my line so I'm going to hold the loop in and I'm going to put the knot to the top and I'm going to go through this opening three times. One, two, three, and just for good measure, I'm going to do it four times. Four. Now pulling the loop, I'm going to pull it down and slide it and dress up the prusik. Pulling the outer edges to the side so that it all squares up. Just like this. Rocking it back and forth as you scoot the knot toward itself. Just like that. So now the knot's up here, and this is a clean loop. This will become important in a minute. But that will slide, see, until you put it under tension, and then it bites, and you ain't gonna get it off there. That's the object of this game. Now that that's been done, Dress it up nice and pretty like that. Remember the short little loop that we made up? That short little loop is the soft shackle. Now, all that is is the knot, the loop, but we've added the addition of a small rubber band. And this is going to go through it, and then it will come back up and through and the rubber band will slide up and that will lock it in place. And that's how we're gonna lock tarps and things onto this. So it doesn't matter if it's got a grommet or sewn in loop, this will hook to it. And there's no knot to be done. You just hook it just like that. Now I've got a connector that I can slide to wherever I want, take my tarp and connect with this soft shackle and it will pull and hold. And then I can adjust the tension of it wherever I want on the line. Pretty easy, huh? Let me put the other one on right quick. Okay, I got my other one on. Now I take my other soft shackle, come through, hook it on just like that. And two soft shackles ready to go. Slide that to that end. Now I need my final little thing. Whoops. Okay, and the final little thing. I'm adding another Prusik knot to my line. And then, tragedy struck. Okay, so this is the next day, and I've got to do this real quick before I get to work and get it edited. So, what we've done is we've got our line hooked up on that end, and we're walking to this end with that prusk, that last prusk. So, here is that last prusk. What we're going to do is... Now, what you do is you're walking up, spiral this up around it. We'll talk about winding this in a minute. You grab that last proof and you walk. And as you walk, you do this. You hook it between your fingers and you let it just spiral around like that so you just walk and drag this behind you. When we get to the tree that we're going to tie this off on, we're going to stop about two foot out or whatever. We're going to come up, we're going to go around the tree. And then, we get to the end of it. Get to the end of it. We're going to pass that whole remaining loop through that prusik. Now we're going to take and put a half hitch on the end of the cord around the remaining material. That will just hold it so it doesn't fall. Now I've got a trucker's hitch. I can pull this 
blood tight. In fact, I can pass it through twice and have a locking trucker's hitch now. So I can pull that sucker good and tight like that and it's locked. Now I take and just simply make a half hitch right after it as a stop knot. That extra material can hang there or I can come up here and hook it between the tree and the line. That is now locked in place and I got my ridge line, a good tight ridge line. Now let me show you the last part of the tarp connector right here. Okay, now you've got your Prusik knot and you've got your soft shackle. To make sure it doesn't come off of the Prusik knot, you want to do this. Take the remainder of the Prusik knot. See, I left it kind of long. You want to double the loop back up, twist it around like that, and then you put your soft shackle through both those loops, just like this. That slides down and hooks it. Now that won't fall off and that's staying attached. Now to attach a tarp, all I gotta do is take the eye, go through the eye, hook my knot through the loop, and then just slide up that rubber band, the bead or whatever. Ta-da, one locked Prusik knot, instantly hooked to it. Now that is easy for me to detach on the fly. The disadvantage of my old system was, what if I had a big loop on the tarp? My tarp does not have grommets, it's got big sewed loops. Well, the way I had it, it wouldn't guarantee lock to it. This will lock to any loop opening or whatever on a tarp. So, ta-da, quick and easy. So now I have a easily can adjust and tension up anywhere on the line tarp connector. I can take it off at will. I can add another one of these out in the middle or whatever. Suppose your tarp's got four connectors. You got a long tarp. Well, you just make four of these Prusiks with these quick connects right here and run it up and down. I can make those in the field if I needed to because I'm using my ridge line on your tarp and your tarp has five connections along the top edge. I can easily just make another one of these up with my paracord and put it together like that. So that is the improved ridge line. So let us reiterate right quick. So that's the improved ridge line. With this now set up this way, when I pull it out, there's no doubt what that is. That's the ridge line. I have a big enough uh, bowling knot on the end that I can take it, go around the tree, and pass the whole wad through it. I then have my two quick connects and my third Prusik. I then hook this in my line, grab the Prusik, and start walking. I walk to the other tree. I leave my other Prusik out 18, 24 inches. I go around the tree, go through that Prusik knot, put a half hitch to hold the rest of the hank, go through a second time, pull it blood time tight so it's a locking trucker's hitch, put a safety loop, and put it in the thing. One fluid motion, boom. To take it down, I pull it down, I Take my thumb, break the trucker's hitch, boom, come out twice, go around the tree, start spiraling up, push, spiral, push, spiral, and walk back to the other end. All together, all hooked, one continuous piece, nothing's gonna fall off. Now I've got something I can hook to any kind of tarp. I can slide and adjust on the fly, so if I need to take, it rain's coming a little more from this end, I can slide the whole tarp down right quick, see. I need to do this, I need to do that. I can hook it in the middle, I can hook it on the side, I can hook it into a diamond. I can hook it in so many configurations out of one ridge line. So this is the improved ridge line. So, do me a favor, hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you leave. And thank you very much for supporting my channel. Till next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys, have a great day, guys.